So our objective of today's session is about sentiment analytics. We'll be looking at a part of social media analysis, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we'll be collecting some material from there. And this is not a rocket science. If you know the sentiment analytics, we know the coding parts, this Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is just a trick how to collect them from these platforms. So this will be another way. We will also use some Amazon or maybe Flipkart or whatever website you will ask me, sir, I'm looking for this particular website or this particular specific material. We'll also see this working with images, audio and videos. However, a uh, bit we have already learned about uh, analyzing images and videos. And we'll explore these three things further. We'll spend about two hours and we'll spend about 15, 20 minutes because again, this is not a very difficult task. Once you know how to import images, audio and video, and once you know how to give them a course, how to create memos, how to attach material, how to transcribe them, once you know about this audio and video, and then rest will be same as we have coded some uh, Excel file or maybe PDF file or whatever material, whatever content you are able to explore with that. File. Something is not visible. I'll just uh, share it again. Is everything visible now? Yes, sir, it's visible. So the most of the part, the focus of today's will be about sentiment analytics. And if you can recall, I have already shown you a paper about sentiments. In this figure, green is indicating positive one, red is indicating the negative one, yellow is indicating a neutral one. This is a emoticon, probably we'll be looking at several other as aspects, how to devise your material. Nowadays, people are doing sentiment analytics, sentiment analysis on any front. But believe me, sentiment analysis has got the popularity of sentiment analytics, though in the beginning also this was possible. The popularity of sent when sentiment analytics has got much popularity when they have included Twitter in it. Can you help me in understanding, this is a question to all the participants, can you help me in understanding why Twitter is so much popular? They have started, we have a research community, academic community, we have started looking at Twitter. What, what is the specific qualities? What are, what are the specific material which is available with Twitter and not with others? So anyway. Twitter is a platform where people uh, usually do criticism. There is a lot of content uh, which is available and which and also there is a lot of, uh, you can say, discussion which is happening on Twitter, which is not probably happening on Facebook and Instagram, which, which are very uh, personal site as compared to Twitter, which is being very professional in nature. Correct. Let me help you. Let me compare few things for you or Twitter or Facebook, which is very much popular. The audience is almost same on Twitter and Facebook. Yes, this is a good option, Ms. Uh, Ms. Palak Kanojia, word limit on Twitter. So you'll have to say a lot of things in limited words. So expressing your sentiments is easier. Otherwise, when you write a comment, when you make a post on Facebook or when you make a post on LinkedIn, probably you will be able to understand how long content it is sometimes. And Twitter helps us in getting this uh, contents into the shortened part. Essence, Ms. Somi. Rango Swamiji is about emotional. Yes, because you'll have to fill, you'll have to, uh, you have been asked to use limited words for expressing your emotions, for expressing your contents. And that is why this is being more emotional in comparison to any other platforms, right? So say, for example, if I search uh, say, uh, something about Airtel, instead of these four or five figures, four or five official pages, I believe You'll have to stop scrolling. Otherwise, the moment you can scroll, the efforts you can make in scrolling, the material will not end. Material will be available in continuation. 
But the same thing when I do on Facebook, you'll get very little, <coughs> sorry, you get very little amount of data. Sometimes it is limited to your Facebook connections because you are having uh, the type of pages you follow, the type of friendship you have, the type, type of community groups you have. Sometimes it is limited to do those options. Whereas in Twitter, there is no limitation on that particular friend. Even there is one more very interesting. Thing. When you visit the homepage of Twitter, Twitter always also tells you what is happening and trending in India. Arrest Ramkesh Mina. So Twitter is also helping me in getting updates of my geography. Volleyball trending, Karthik's new look. Sports trending, news today's. Topics to follow. Twitter gives me a lot of contents, whereas Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms are limited to that. However, I'm not sure about Tinder and all, all other platforms. I have not used them, but probably you will be able to understand a lot of content is available on Twitter and probably Twitter is not limited up to the information which is in my network. Twitter is not limited up to the information which is in my network. So that is why Twitter has a completely different story in, compa in comparison to all other uh, social media networking sites. They, they do have some limitations, whereas Twitter does not have any limitation on that. These platforms, you, you talk about Instagram. I'm not on Instagram. I'm like You won't be able to see me active anytime on Instagram. But I have to make an account on Instagram just because sometimes I, I demonstrate these things to my uh, classes or these things to my participants of the workshop, some uh, new uh, learners. And you can see I, I, I follow only the contents which are like this tourism teacher, Ramakrishna. He's working with IITTM and my good friend also, so I'm following him. And there are multiple suggestions for me, but I, I'm following only one person. <laughs> Even I'm not sure what I did about two, three years before. This is my profile, but again, yes, I am following only one and there are 26 followers. I don't know from where they come. <laughs> Out of this 26, about 15, 16 are from, uh, are from uh, are my family members. But again, when I type about Airtel, sometimes I get their brand page. Sometimes I get different kind of contents which I'm not looking for exactly. Correct? So this is what is a story of these three popular platforms. There, there, there will be another platform which will be included in today's discussion, in today's session, which is YouTube. Right? So these things you'll be able to see on YouTube and we'll be collecting some data from YouTube also. So these are the four or five popular platform from where we'll collect the data. And there is one more plugin, which I wish to share with all of you. Where is that? Just a minute. Yes, simple scrapper. This is, this is having some amazing contents for qualitative analysis researchers. I will just make a few, few extensions inactive so that acrobatry done. So I'll be discussing this simple, simple scrapper docs also. And you love how to use this simple scrapper docs. Scrap this website and every all the contents is, belongs to you now. 
<laughs> so, shall we start with how to collect the data? Okay, but before uh, discussing uh, opinions regarding any issue, yes, Twitter has a lot of sentiments, Twitter has a lot of contents, Twitter has got many advantages. But before looking at that, let me discuss uh, two, three slides, not more than, uh, okay, there are only two slides which are theoretical, which are which will be covering theoretical part of sentiment politics. Identifying orientation of opinion is a piece of in a piece of text. If it is a smaller piece of text, then it is easier for me and it is easier for software too. Right? This could be generalized to a wider set of emotions. This movie was fabulous. The movie the stars Mr. X is a neutral one. This movie was horrible. I don't like Karan Johar or maybe Ritik Roshan doing this. I, I have not thought like they, they'll be doing this. And everything is sentiment. So when I say I like my boss pretty much, is a content, is an emotion, is a sentiment. When I say I I, I love uh, my boss, but uh, sometimes I find there is not enough freedom. This is again a sentiment. When I say what most of you generally say about your bosses, again a kind of sentiment. Everything is a sentiment. When you are loving to your kids, when you are partying with your friends, when you are working with your colleagues, everything is about sentiment. And that is why, as per a survey, as per a survey from uh, one of the popular, I'm forgetting the name of magazine, a few uh, a week before I was reading that article, as per, a, as per an article, 70% content on this earth is a sentiment. 70% is a huge number. 70% content on the written or non-written con content on this earth is sentiment. Do you understand how huge sentiment is? How huge the percentage of sentiment is? That is why sentiment analytics is getting important, importance in present scenario. Those who are in finance, they might be thinking this is not useful for us. If you go to the Google Scholar and you find sentiment analytics in uh, ups and downs of the share market prices, sentiment analytics for bulls and bears, sentiment analytics of this and that, there are multiple areas of sentiment analytics in the different financial aspect also. Those who are in human resources management, they'll find it awesome. Those who are in marketing, this is a solution of everything. This is a solution of everything for you, right? There is a tripod of sentiment analytics. So if you, are, if you are trying to perform sentiment analytics, you need to look at these three things. If you are not looking at these three things, probably you are not doing justice. So probably you need to understand these three things. One is natural language processing, NLP. Most of the paper you read based on sentiment analytics will be having a word. That word is known as NLP, natural language processing. It does not make a difference what Rahul is saying. It does not make a difference what Saurabh is saying. It does not make a difference what X, Y, Z is saying. What makes a difference? What is the actual meaning of this word in the present scenario? <coughs> Sorry. When I say in the present scenario, this include at the time when I was saying this. This might be in past. So I, I, we need to understand natural language processing no biases of researcher. If the researcher is biased, say for example, I'm doing a research on farmer societal tendency and I'm biased on rural life, I'm not a good person to do that. I'm doing a research for women injustice or uh, um, uh, this uh, fosticide, infant fosticide and every other, if I'm biased on that front, if I started believing, women are always correct and if i started believing bosses are always correct if i started started believing any phenomena i am not doing a natural language processing i will not be able to do a natural language processing so you need not to be optimistic you need not to be pessimistic you need to be realistic for a qualitative researcher for being a qualitative researcher for being a sentiment analytics expert then because the the way the machine can understand, the way machine can understand the like natural language processing is known as machine learning. And these two things are dependent on cognitive science, how people look at it. If I'm saying something, say for example, if you are in Haryana, 
I, I, they, um, I, I have got many relatives in Haryana or in Punjab. I have got many friends in Punjab. Even if they are very friendly asking you to sit down, but it feels, if you are new to their place, it feels they are shouting on you. They are shouting exactly, but the meaning of that shout is not actually, they, they, have not, they are not intended to shout on you. This is their culture. This is the cognition of, of the culture. Probably you need to have a balanced outlook on this. Right? And that is why from the first class I am saying, if the researcher of the qualitative analysis is biased, can be influenced by any opinion, he should not involve into the qualitative analysis research. Otherwise, he will stuck in a problem. Will not be able to do it. Right? So this is known as tripod of sentiment analytics, which we'll be doing today. Right? But before analyzing tweets and all other ways, let me tell you, let me spend about 40-45 minutes how to download data from different sources. Then we'll discuss how to analyze tweets. More important to that is how to download data from different sources. Are we ready? Say yes or no to the chat box. Are we ready for that? How to download the data from different sources? How to extract the data from different sources? Correct. My whole screen, the full screen is visible to all of you? Visible, sir. Yes. On the top, of the import tab, you can see a Twitter data option, right? Like other software, you need not to go to any plugin or any other way of uh, downloading this data. You can download the Twitter data from here. You can download the YouTube data from here. And there is another plugin of web collector data, which we'll be using for other purposes also, correct? So I'll be, I'll be demonstrating these three functions in very focus today. So simply click on Twitter data and you'll have to permit this software and your Twitter account also. So first you need to click on connect to Twitter. Once you click on connect to Twitter, this will redirect you to a web page where your profile name, if it is logged in on your PC, will, uh, you'll be able to see profile picture and your name. You need to click on authorize app. Once you click on authorize app, this will ask you please return to Max Studio to continue your Twitter import query. I have not seen what is trending today. Desh Drohi Modi Shah, I'll not analyze it. <laughs> trending in India, let me, let me see what is trending in India. Mm -hmm. It has clicked on. There was, there was something which I could see a few minutes before. Uh, trending in sports, you can see. Yes, Tokyo 2020, Team India. This is a good chunk for analysis. Let us see how people are thinking about what people are, uh, what is the opinion of people about Tokyo 2020. Olympics India. Yes, Deepika Upadhyay is also asking me to do that. So I'll say, I'll write Tokyo 2020 in Max Q. Correct. When you come back to your Max QDA, this will show your profile name. So my profile name is Dr. Korob on that front. The imported Twitter content must not be used for any advertisement and must not be useful for people identification by continuing. I agree with these terms. Click on this. If you do not click on this, you won't be able to download this data. You'll have to click on this. So what are these exact phrases? Tokyo. 2020. And there are several options of doing filtering. The exact phrases, any of these words, or maybe you wanted to include some hashtags from a specific account to these account, mentioning any, any tweets which has, uh, which has a mention of this account, anything. There is another limitation of this. Uh, you might be using any other software, but there is a limitation of these dates. So you'll be able to download the data only seven days. 
So if you are a qualitative researcher and if you find there is any event which is of your interest, download the data on the very same day. Otherwise, if you are trying to use a uh, data which is uh, older than seven days, probably you'll have to use Twitter API and then only you'll be able to download that data. You wanted to include retweets also. So what is the first post and how people have retweeted that? However, generally it is not needed, but right now I'm limiting my recent tweets up to 500. Otherwise, what will happen when I click on run search and you will be able to see there is a limitation of 10,000 tweets. More than 10,000 tweets cannot be downloaded. There, this is a limitation with the software. But when I start analyzing 10,000 tweets, you'll find my PC is very, very slow. That is why I'll be limiting my research of uh, limiting my search of even, not even 500, 1,000 tweets, okay? And now I will click on run search. And you can see I'm able to extract 1,000 tweets. Click on import data. And this has started importing data from Twitter. You need not to go anywhere. Your software will import everything for your purposes. This is why I generally limit it up to 500. Otherwise, this takes a lot of time. You can also limit on likewise uh, this from any language to English if you wanted to impose this. The moment the software import a Twitter data for you, this will ask you, do you want to auto code this data? Generally, people click on yes. However, it is not recommended. I think I need to remove some data <coughs> you'll be able to, uh, you can easily see this Chinese language in these tweets. I will re-import this data. Instead of any language, I'll click on English so that origin of the post, origin of the Twitter will be Right. Origin of this post is uh, from English and then people can uh, retweet on that without even using English. So that will not be in problem. Generally, people click on this yes. However, it is not recommended. Generally, we should click on no. Now, let us understand what this data, what are the content which this data is having. First is date and time. When this post has been done, we are doing this on 23rd and we, are we have imported only 500 uh, data, 500 tweets. So that is why I believe most of the data will be from 23rd itself. One day, even one hour can have more than this data. And then tweet. Tokyo 2020, Team India at the Olympic Games on opening ceremony day. And then there is a specific link. I had goosebumps when I have heard about Gladius weapon, select them, select uh, theme. Thank you, Tokyo Olympic 2020 committee for choosing video game, right? The third tab, the third column is about hashtag. So is there any hashtag which has been used by this post? Tokyo 2020 was a hashtag and you can see most of them is having a Tokyo 2020, whereas one is having Eritrea also. Maybe this person belongs to this country. Tokyo Olympics, Tokyo 2020, anything could be discussed here. Then the fourth column is about type. It is a tweet or it is a retweet. Or is it a reply to somebody? Who is the author? Say, for example, Hari uh, Gedutri, author's real name. This is the profile's name and this is the author's real name. 
author's location while making your account if author's author has provided their real location that could be the part of analysis but i find most of the time say for example i'm making an account and i'm saying i'm in india there is no other mechanism this is a limitation of this whole analysis you might be using any software but this is a limitation you might be using any software of qualitative analysis this is a limitation whatever information has been offered by user will on, you will only be able to download that right so author's location author's time zone you will find most of the time is blank if author has not provided author's time zone then author's url you can directly click on this link and you can visit that of particular author author's description while making your account what description you have posted in your account the followers of that authors and how many follows how many people this author has follows number of tweets in total profile verified you might be able to recall this blue tick the whole the everything is related to this blue tick so if there is a blue tick you will be able to see true and if there is no blue tick you won't be able to you uh, you will be able to see false profile created day and time retweets how many retweets this person has offered likes language source <coughs> i'm sorry this post has been done from twitter android or twitter web page like we have downloaded this or maybe twitter for iphone <laughs> and tweet coordinate which is again blank most of the time it will be blank so this is how you can see your data we have asked the software to download the data of only 500 respondents and you can see the 500 respondents have been downloaded from this place okay some somebody has posted about sir can we change this dates for past weeks data avrupali ji i'll just try to do that if it is not possible even i i have not tried that uh, ms palak kalraj ji when we include retweets does it impact our analysis if yes in what ways or analysis get affected so say for example if Kangana, you are trying to analyze the post of kangana ranawat on bmc or maybe uddhav thakre or support to bjp then you must use retweets because retweets are more important than tweets and if you are analyzing like tokyo you can have a combination of tweets and retweets if you, if it is a very naturalistic topic say for example sensex or say for example uh, uh this uh, ft i mean financial thing et economic times uh, newspapers uh, makes, uh, profile uh, and their profile uh, post probably tweets are sufficient retweets are not needed i'll click on twitter data can we post it 23rd if i post it on 16 okay 23rd is already done if i want a data from 19 to no it is not possible to pre pon your search from the different weeks ms selina do you have any experience with getting tweets for the longer periods more than a week from twitter as a researcher yes i have downloaded it multiple times i contacted them as a researcher but they insist for me to pay for a huge amount i contacted also some foreign researchers and all suggested scrapping tweets with r would be grateful for any insight yes if you can even any other package any other software you will be able to download the data for a week not more than that and yes there are several packages on r and several packages on what is that Uh, python there is a package which is tweak there are uh, multiple videos for downloading and uh, twitter api for researcher is being the easiest way sometimes they might approve your request in free which is most of the time they generally do not accept very few a time they accept your request in free however my request they have applied they have approved in free and uh, if we download this these tweets using other scraper can i use max query for the analysis more than 10000 tweets yes you can do that correct so this is a first way of downloading the data any doubt up to this uh so i just wanted to know that uh, for uh, your uh, 
like one week, we put it as five hundred. So does it mean that the first five hundred will come in, and the yes, rest will be first, read... first five hundred come in? You can read this line: limit uh -huh. quote of most recent tweets of five hundred. Okay, okay, okay. It won't be it won't be random, right? It will be one no, of the other. It won't be random, and even it won't be from sixteen. First, if it is not if it is a, a total post five hundred on twenty third, so the first only the post from twenty third will come in. Okay, okay, okay. So how do I then know that? Okay, now I analyze. I I downloaded those five hundred, and mm -hmm. then I must. Uh, I can't change the dates, or shall I uh, take the further tweets from the same dates? It is better just just click on do not limit. Oh oh oh. Okay. Right. Right. And you will get you will get at least ten thousand. Yeah. So then I I'm able to download the whole thing, is it? Yes. Uh, ten thousand is not whole thing actually. Say for example, if I just a minute. Uh, say for example, I click on there. There is no limit on first uh, five hundred. I want to see the ten thousand. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Transforming API. Transforming. Okay. Multiple times I have tried to do that. Just okay. I have not posted anything. Right. <laughs> okay. Twenty twenty. And I have removed this uh, limit. Limit, yeah. Run search. Right now, the first post was from twenty-three. Last post was also from twenty-three. So ten thousand tweets are possible only in one day. If it mm. is uh, scenario, so even whole things cannot be covered in one. Day. So say for example, uh, uh, what is trending? Uh, what was trending day before yesterday? Say for example, current job. That with the help of Maxidian, let me see. This data is from twenty third, and the last data was also from twenty third. The twenty third. Okay, they are increasing. They are increasing. So even like if they found like ten thousand tweets could cover uh, seven days, then it's okay. Otherwise, the most recent tweets you'll be able to. Mm. But will it slow down my speed for the Max Two DA yes. if I do this? You'll, yeah. You'll be downloading a data of ten thousand people. Definitely, this will take some time. Mm -hmm. Also, this will slow down your analysis. However, right now I wanted to do it very fast. That is why I have downloaded only five hundred. Right. So, so would you recommend uh, downloading first and not going to directly to Max QDA and first analyzing it and then taking it up? Like the, I mean, for example, there may be some tweets which are not making sense. Uh, so maybe I'd like to initially delete that and then work on it. You can you can do that too. Uh, just go to Twitter data. Say, for example, you have analyzed. Tokyo 2020. Hmm. Click on. I will limit it. Click on search result. Zero tweets. Zero zero tweets. Mm, probably we have made some mistake. Uh, okay, the spelling of Tokyo is incorrect. Right. Yeah, you can see this data. Probably this data could not is not. Uh, you, you cannot remove it from this place. No, this cannot be removed from this place. But mm -hmm. yes, from the download bar. If somebody is asking me to repeat, simply click on Run Search and click on Import Data, and you'll be able to see this data on your desktop. Okay. You can delete Good. it from this Excel sheet. Okay. Okay. Within the Max Studio, within the Max Studio, within the Max Studio, you can do. Correct. Sir, please, can you check the sentiment of Zomato IPO? Now you are getting very demanding. Miss <laughs> 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 uh, Amrupali, sir, there are other ways to download more data from Twitter. On the past, yes, there are multiple ways on that. 
say for example you wanted to download some data from this uh, karan johar scheme and uh, simply click on these three dots click on advanced search now karan johar and all other ways but still again the dates will be from 7 days but this scraper can help you this simple scraper scrap website right and then add a property property name one is uh, author this one or this way we'll be able to download multiple amount of data but using this scraper is also sometimes very risky sometimes it uh, results something which is not needed so i would not recommend if you are using a sensitive data on that. if it is not sensitive data anything could be done but if it is sensitive one do not use it with the simple scraper because this will also record your ip address right so this is one way of doing this now you might be thinking about how to download the data from youtube which is a second time. so say for example behind this screen <coughs> this one is a screen and you wanted to download the comments which are on this song right so simply click on this video open this video copy and paste the url of this video go to the twitter click on youtube data and you can see when you have copied the data you can see this has already included this has already pasted your url retrieve video information this is a video information import comments only top level comments and auto coding is not needed in the present phase this is the first video videos data which i am downloading now okay so you can see there are 6689 comments on this video which we can download just in few seconds at least within a minute right i'm not sir downloading. could you Yes, please. Uh, so, could you please explain what is auto code comments? Like in uh, YouTube, we got this auto code, and in Twitter also there was this auto code, and you said not to uh, check that box. So, can you explain this? I can definitely explain this. Auto code comments. What will happen? One, it will be taking more time. whatever course you are going to promote it whatever course you are, okay i'll just search a song which is probably having lesser comments or maybe something which is very new my god 32 million on likes on one particular video i don't find any video which is having lesser uh, views okay probably my own videos will be having lesser views on that lesser comments on that say for example english for academic writing there are not five six comments yes those could be easily select the url okay we are almost on the verge of completion so not to stop it you can see these entries here this was a song jaan ban gaye tum and 1000 1000 1000 and finally 34 these are types of comments which we are able to extract uh first reason high z music company there are multiple types of comments which we need to clean sometime which is very difficult i will include another type another video which is having only 13 comments input top level comment and auto code comments what will happen with the auto code comment can you see there are some 
codes have been generated? Can you see this? The comments with one replies, the comments with two replies, the comment with three replies, comments with 133 replies. So probably when I activate on Jan Bangay first part and activate 133 replies, and if I click on the retrieve segment, zero coded segment in this uh, document, probably other documents. Now you can see this one is having 133 replies. So this post has got 133 replies. He is one of the best actor in the world who agrees with me. <laughs> this is the objective of autocode and autocode in this particular uh, perspective. If you think this will help you in coding all these documents, everything probably no. And that is why I generally do not recommend to click on autocode because this will be creating a problem when you will be finally clicking on network diagram or other ways of diagram, this will create a problem for you. Right? So say for example, this one was a different uh, transcript. This one, valuable information indeed, zero replies, one replies. Which document, what is that uh, document which is having one reply? Valuable information indeed, thank you so much. And this has a uh, sub comment. So probably when you are trying to identify what is in discussion, what is popular in discussion, in that case, you need to click on autocode. Otherwise, autocode is not needed. I would always recommend to do the coding by yourself. So say, for example, valuable information, you find this is important, select this material, click on a new content, and you are finding it valuable. This is a code which I find. Thank you. Uh, for very informative lecture. Sorry, my system is hanged. Yes. This is a very informative lecture. Probably again, I need to code it with valuable. It's a very useful tool. So people have started thinking on useful tool. Better than Grammarly, Premium or other ways. So probably people have started making a comparison. I would always recommend, I generally suggest to all the researchers, do it manually. If you are uh, into the trap of auto-coding, you are actually in trap of, uh, you will not be able to complete this assignment. You will not be able to complete this project because auto-code, I find, I personally find is a trap. You have always shared information which is informative and helpful tools. So this could be coded two ways. One is information which is uh, valuable, helpful, which is useful. Right? So this way you need to apply the analysis with the YouTube codes. This is comment and they are their authors, authors URL, top level comment, yes. Because this, this video was having only five, six comments. So yes, this is a top level. Was there any reply to this comment? Yes. Or maybe number of replies, likes to these comments when the, this comment was published and updated. So this is a type of data which you can adopt from YouTube. Now, okay, is there any question for YouTube? Otherwise I'll proceed further. No. Now the third thing is, web collector, right? Web collector data. Like you can search on Google Chrome extensions. Google Chrome extensions. When you click on this Google Chrome extensions, I believe all of you have applied some extensions. Um, might, you, you might be using multiple extensions from here. Simply click on next QDA. Web collector for Max QDA. However, there is an older version, 2018 and 12. Do not go for this. Click on this web collector for Max QDA. 
the screen where you can see remove from chrome on the same air the same part you will be able to see install on chrome or maybe add to chrome just click on that and you will be able to see this here do not see this remove if you are using it first time you might be able to see install or maybe add this web collector is available here web collector helps you helps us in downloading multiple set of data maybe from blogs or maybe from any other document we'll discuss how web, web collector could be used so say for example you wanted to download some data from uh, facebook this is what is a data which is related to airtel simply click on web collector there are two ways of downloading this data one is web page this web page will, will be downloaded as it is another one is simplified web page and this web page will be converted into a smaller into a uh, like a color free way color free method of data collection only the text and the images even if you click on exclude images these images will be removed from this web page right if you click on yes if you if you again click um, um, uh, remove this click and check this box exclude images you will be able to see all the types of images all the types of data which you are able to see on this particular page simplified web page 20 plus airtel collect this data import collection of the go to the max qda project and click on hello import web collector of the data we'll do that okay then you might be somewhere at uh, you might be reading a blog or you might be looking at some other contents where you find this is important for your research say for example uh you might be reading this article from wikipedia this web collector is very much advanced farmer society in india you wanted to record this document to your uh, max qda project simply click on web collector go to simplified web page and this whole material will be converted into the simpler text <coughs> click on collect done you are on facebook page you are on instagram page anywhere say for example i search on i search on my friend tourism teacher these type of contents which is available on his web page and you will be able to see i will apply on web collector simplified web page and right now you won't be able to see any images because those images have been converted into different pages so don't worry for that click on collect then i'll go to i'll go back to max qda first we click on web collector and you can see these three files i have just downloaded rama krishna farmer society in india and airtel search from facebook this one is is from instagram this one is from wikipedia import selected file you wanted to import a pdf document you wanted to uh, make a image document then everything will be converted into image and you won't be able to edit that import web, web pages and then import simplified web pages in terms of text document so that you you uh, it is easy for you so that you can convert that material as per your specific choice import selected files these files have been imported here and as you wanted to do analysis for other projects you can do that so say for example airtel search and you can see these files are editable you can include some material you can remove some material along with this url you wanted to go back and you wanted to explore this material you can do that right this is farmer society in india and you can see the simpler form of text without having much web information everything has been connected everything has been collected in terms of images in terms of text when you see rama krishna no images have been downloaded okay we'll go back to twitter again and let's see 
let me make a search on that front. Tokyo 2020. This is by default selected this Tokyo 2020, which is not my intention. Again, this is an official page. This won't download anything. Is there a problem with the Twitter or prob problem with the Twitter, uh, this uh, Instagram desktop? Probably I'm not doing the correct thing on. I'll just come back to the home page and then we'll search it. Again, this has by default selected this Tokyo 2020, which is again a profile handle. Not sure. So instead of that, I'll select a web page then. Collect this document and then let's see. Data web, a web data collector. Tokyo twenty twenty. Okay, this is downloaded as a PDF, not as a text material. Got it. Because most of the thing, most of the contents are in form of images on Twitter. That's a different kind of a challenge. <laughs> now, the same analysis we need to perform about selection of this text, selection of these images, and then converting them in terms of quotes. In if you find anything could be done without quotes, this is illogical and qualitative analysis. You need to have good quotes for that analysis. If you are not using quotes, this whole analysis will be completely wastage of time in that. Correct. So we have downloaded data from Twitter, YouTube, and web collector. Anything is which is left? This simple scraper, I'll, I'll send you this link. So downloading data from simple scraper and the whole website could be converted. Okay. Yes, there is something is left which is from. Reviews from Flipkart. Or maybe Amazon or maybe any other website. What do you want to uh, make a decision? What do you want to uh, purchase there? Uh, maybe mobile phone. Okay, Samsung Galaxy M11. So uh, if we want to take reviews from any website, then the first thing we must have an account there, then only we can get the data. Otherwise, how you can get, how you- Like in Flipkart or in Amazon. Data. How you will reach to this point where reviews- Okay. So can we do comparison also like, uh, ki Flipkart pe kitte buyers hai, ya Amazon pe particular product ke kitte buyers hai? There is there are different websites for uh, that particular aspect. The, um, how many buyers are uh, visiting this website within ten minutes or within one hour? How uh, what is the quality of contents on these websites? There are different things comparing website. There is a I was for, I'm forgetting that name of that website. Uh, 
इंश्योरेंस में तो वो पॉलिसी बाजार है ना इवेल्युएटिंग वेबसाइट इवेल्युएटिंग वेबसाइट्स आई 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 बी एबल टू रिकॉल दैट नेम लूसिड चार्ट नो लिंग्विस्टिक्स नो the search something there are different websites for evaluating the quality of website itself there are many tools for evaluating the traffic generated by website there are other tools for this uh, particular or specific objective what you are talking about so similar web is one of such websites that can be similar web similar web that could Right, so this is what is a Samsung Galaxy M11 document and multiple reviews on this web page. Again, click on web collector. Simplified web page is the best way. You will be able to see these contents and everything. Or uh, you can also use this simple learn, uh, this simple scraper. Scrap this website. The first website is. Uh, the first one is a reviewer's name uh say for example no okay a uh, first example is headline and then click on good choice 10 items selected right headline another one review r e v i e w review where is the review this one 27 items selected in reviews then star rating star rating where is that star rating so probably we will click on because this is not possible to see uh four star this one this one 10 items again selected Correct, and then click on view result. You will be able to download an Excel sheet. Okay, I made a mistake in a spelling. Headline: Good choice, bad quality, worth of money, just wow, worth for money. This is the headline. This is the comment, and this is star rating four five five four. Probably you need not to go to any other website. Even <coughs> page two is also available. This is table preview. You can click on JSON preview. for coding purposes if you are using a python or other ways you can do that download a csv file and you can see this everything is available in terms of a excel sheet can you see this and this excel sheet could be imported to any software of qualitative analysis not limited to max qd so simple scraper this is a good tool for using and we have downloaded reviews from this otherwise web collector could definitely be used for any ways correct so is there any doubt of downloading the data from different websites we'll take few questions here on this uh, like any problem in downloading the data in other ways savita's iphone you're having a question or what is that There seems to be no questions, sir. Okay. Correct. Then we'll move ahead because this was very important part, and that is why we have uh, dedicated good amount of time on how to download data. Right. After downloading a data, I'll show you a very small video on this. share sound optimized for video clips and this is from the max qda website what is actually sentiment what we are talking about welcome to our tutorial about the sentiment analysis feature for tweets which is available since version 20 Sentiment analysis is a tool for quickly determining emotions of textual data by investigating linguistic features of a text This can be helpful to categorize a large amount of unstructured data based on its sentiment which can be either positive, negative or neutral. 
This is done by evaluating the words contained within a piece of text with respect to the polarity of single expressions. With the new MexQDA 2024 update, we'll be discussing that. But the ultimate objective of the discussion is to identify the emotions which are hidden behind these texts. Multiple times, what is what is happening? Why I do not recommend, why I specifically do not recommend auto coding and auto measures in this way, because I know the softwares might make several mistakes. And that is why I always promote to use ma manual methods of doing codings and everything. But tweets are very large in number, comments are very large in number. That is why auto coding is okay with this. Right? So double click on tweets first. You, you, your data will be visible to you. And then you'll have to go to analyze. This is what I have also already mentioned in this file, in this PowerPoint presentation also. Click on analyze Twitter and tweet, analyze tweets. That's it. And your analysis is done. <laughs> analyze Twitter. And there are two things. First, we'll analyze tweets and then we'll go for auto code also. Don't worry. Analyze tweets. Select this file and click on analyze tweets. Correct. Now you can see a table on this first column is having their authors and profile. If you have been with the engineering background or if you have been with the very technical background, you'll be able to identify a term which is very popular to the technical institutions, lead user identification. What is the term lead user identification? So when I'm talking about lead user identification, these profile pictures and number of tweets from the specific user is very important for me. If it is not the target for me, then probably I'm not interested in these figures. And that is why at first instance, the figure profile, the, the pictures or the images of these figures is not recommended. But still, if you want to, if you find, if your objective is lead user identification, click on load profile picture, right? While simultaneously, you can do other jobs also. So don't worry. When you click on load profile pictures, you'll be able to see multiple figures will be available. Those, the users which has offered their profile, uh, which has offered their profile picture, this will be loaded here. What is the first thing which we should do looking at this uh, sentiment analytics is about generally most of the time we done, we have done, uh, we have perform, performed from this word cloud. So your screen is very blurry. Okay. Yes, sir. I was wondering ki mujhe yes, sir. yes, sir. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. No, Should it's I do it still again? Sharing. Yeah, it's clear. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. One, you need to simply double click on the, these tweets, one to 500. We know there are 500 tweets and this uh, sheet will be visible. Go to the Twitter function, click on analyze tweets. Select this uh, file because this is by default will not be selected and click on analyze tweets, correct? This first tab is about the load profile picture. You can see when I clicked on load profile picture, generally it is not visible. From home finder, there is a picture of home. Whosoever number of authors, number of users have given their picture, you will be able to see their picture on this profile. However, it is not recommended. Like it is recommended only in case of if you are doing, if you are performing a very specific analysis, which is known as lead user identification. Most of the uh, technical institution or engineering inst uh, institutions are involved in this. So when I deliver this session to Neti Mumbai or uh, when I deliver this session to NI Triple T R uh, Chandigarh. They generally ask, sir, if you do not, uh, please cover lead user identification because this is of most important for us. So simply and identify these figures and you while you can perform other tasks. So the first procedure which you need to perform on these tweets are this. Now, many of you might be wondering, sir, why we are doing this analysis? Uh, like uh, we need to remove multiple sentences, multiple words uh, in one go. Is there any way so that we can remove these stop words in one go? Simply click on word frequencies, click on the S 
of a while pressing control for i list 2 and is at in click on this at two stop no, words list and these words will not be you, you won't be able to see them into the further word club you'll see these most of the distorting words have been disappeared however you can also adjust with the number of frequency you wanted to see as you increase the number of frequency or you can also decrease the number of frequency stop words list i have already supplied you can use that also that's another method one way one way is interpreting this uh, word cloud other way is interpreting this tabular format word word length frequency and the percentage word length does not play very important or pivotal role in that whereas word frequency percentage and rank plays very important role to that now all of us knows to import this in an excel sheet or maybe in a web page format or any other format this is first page then you can also click on statistics which is a second analysis using Twitter mining. You can see most of the data, 100% data has been posted on Friday because we have downloaded only top 500 uh, tweets. You can change this analysis on time types. So this has got uh, only 12% tweets and 87% retweets, only 1% replies. So probably instead of posting their own and fresh contents, they have started posting retweets. In this particular case, you need to understand, all of us need to understand, retweets are more important in comparison to tweets. You can change the shape, design, uh, specific function, specific feature with that. Color combination could be selected with the different colors or maybe gradients of one specific color, different ways and means could be utilized. You wanted to remove uh, percentage and you wanted to include counts, <coughs> right? Multiple customization could be done with this. This is one way of type. Most frequently used words. 2020 is most frequently used words. There is no problem with this. Tokyo, Olympics, Tokyo, ceremony, game, music, opening video we have already looked at this these type of analysis these types of charts so this there is no surprise in that only the procedure is different now this is very important most frequently used hashtags tokyo 2020 is the most frequently used hashtag otherwise people have also used olympics there is some chinese symbol in that then uh, united by emotions this is very important to, like to report in a research paper people are this uh, COVID pandemic and looking at this and that different perspective, they are still talking about United by Emotion. Uh, opening ceremony, people are excited for a demonstration, for a public demonstration, Tokyo Olympics. Omega official. Omega official, Omega official. okay. <laughs> what is Team that? India, Team India. Okay, Team India. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just thinking, what, what is Team India? <laughs> Sir, a question. Hai. Hashtag yes. wala result or bina hashtag wala result, same word ka different aega? Bilkul aega. Sir, Most fir kya advisable hai? Most frequent? Are you talking about this most frequent word, word or most hashtag? Most important hashtag? Sir, no. Jaysay, suppose humne search kiya Tokyo, bina hashtag lagaye. Ya mm -hmm. Tokyo search kiya hashtag laga ke. No, no, no. no. This, this, this will uh, um, like press down the Tokyo 2020 from the tweet itself, not from this content. So this is, this uh, does not make any difference. What is your search key term? Okay. This, this, this does not make any difference. What is your search key term? And then okay. case sensitivity. Now you'll be able to see might be capital T and small t in a different method because now we have introduced the case sensitive one, which is your question. Generally, we select without case sensitive. This one is very important when we talk about lead user identification. 
I'll share some papers on lead user identification and how people, how researchers have used that term. So probably Jack Hazara or maybe Roman Chuck, zero, zero, uh, Roman Chuck zero 01. Roman Chuck. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is out of my forte. <laughs> Roman <Chuck. laughs> What I can do, I should uh, the size probably. Sir, in the beginning, it was uh, written that we should not take the author's uh, data when we were downloading the data. There was somewhere, somewhere it was mentioned that author's data or author's data. we were downloading the data, closed. author's data and anything. And we'll have to use uh, disguise on that front. Even if you are doing lead user identification, you'll have to make a disguise. Uh, so we shouldn't uh, uh, use this data or we should not publish this data, something like that, right? This data is for our demonstration. Export this data okay. in Excel sheet, remove the names and give them the code name XXX or YYY or ZZZ, whatever you wanted to give them. And this is what is a demographic of this person or this is what is a demograph of this person, this individual, maybe a male or uh, 27 years old or uh, belongs to maybe Japan or belongs to other countries or for these demographics, but you are, we are not allowed to mention anybody's name directly to any research. Thank you, sir. Okay. This is author's Twitter name. This is author's real name. This is Romanchak Nehare. I'm sorry. Authors by the name of, uh, authors by the number of followers. So probably the independence has got this one. ITV News has got this one for our followers. Sources of this data, if you can recall, Twitter for Androids, most of the people have posted on Tokyo 2020, they are using. Android phones, good number of people are also using iPhone, Twitter web page, which means like people are using desktop still, Twitter Dex, Social Fellow, they are using different other platforms for posting on, uh, on Twitter. Sources, language, however, we have selected the English language, so there, there are no chances of any other language. If, you have not, if we have not selected English, probably there are chances of <coughs> getting on the chunks of the uh, different languages also. Comparison of tweets and retweets, likes on these posts, and the followers of these users or these particular text. This is one of the statistics of everything, demographics of everything about Twitter analytics. Then we we'll go for sentiment analytics, which is the focus of today's discussion. We'll click on analyze sentiments. Right, ignore hashtags, apply stop words list, which is a standard we have added there and click on okay. Now you can shorten your list and you can see this, this Twitter user, this one, this is a tweet. Tokyo 2020, Team India at the Olympic Games at the opening ceremony is being considered as positive. Tokyo Olympics 2020 opening ceremony, video game music list is being, because the person seems to be enthusiastic on that front. Neutral Olympics is finally over. Get yourself up to the speed of key venues of Tokyo 2020. <laughs> and how many words? And comparison, even this is this also offers you a comparison of differences, words, positive words and negative words. There is one positive word and one negative word. That is why they have considered this as a neutral one. The difference is of three. However, this is not the analysis. This is not the purpose. The different purpose could have been served. How many of them are positive? 259. Just download this chunk in terms of an Excel sheet and the, how I have shown you uh, my own paper on that front. I have that downloaded the data of uh, positive and negative one from here. Positive comments on their theme, very positive. And then identified major themes. 
this was the comment and the concern was major theme was inclusion and equity this was the comment and the major was praise for the efforts india is a global leader in science and technology this is the theme this is the overall comment defined independent however i have not taken more than uh, 100 i have taken only 10 20 important content important tweets which were sensible enough right so very positive moderately positive you can download these sheets sir so after tweet. downloading we will have to uh, select the tweet by ourselves by you know data mining or content manually, mining manually manually okay okay so like envivo ki tarah ye graph bana ke nahi dega those graphs are already available don't worry those those will be available don't worry okay but this is what is like uh, no other software can do for you downloading these twitters uh, down, downloading these tweets and then combining them in a different group so positive tweets since one table remove this slightly positive neutral this is a different type of a task we'll again go to go to this uh, statistics once your analysis sentiment analysis analysis is done you will be able to see sentiments at the end if sent, like last time when we were with this uh, statistical tab the sentiment analysis was not open because we have not performed sentiment analysis once we click on sentiments you can see this different type of a chart so like can we go this is also offering you uh, the same chart right sir on uh, some of the uh, posts uh, we had uh, coded uh, yes. certain themes right we had uh, figured out some of the themes or we coded them okay. and now after performing the sentiment analysis uh, those uh, codes or those uh, posts have been uh, uh, you know uh, they have been divided into positive slightly positive neutral and a non neutral or maybe negative uh, mm -hmm. sentiments now if we want to say for example see that uh, in positive say for example in first 259 uh tweets or retweets say for example the first retweet or if i see this angel this this has been retweeted i think 2000 and 2824 times is it right so yes. say for example i want to use this particular Uh, post in my uh, report and i want to uh, show that this particular report has this particular code so where can i so this was one of the positive i i want to generate the report and now in this one is a positive uh, comment or post and i want to show that this particular a uh, post has this code i have coded this code in this way so where can i see that that uh, you know code is ka kaha likha hai visual, visual inspection you can see this positive here right hmm. another way of doing this is simply click on positive comments now you will be seeing you will be able to see all the positive comments here now what manual task you need to do open as an excel table right tweets positive tweets positive save yeah so once i open this excel sheet i remove this one i remove the name of author which is not usable date time type is again not usable for me so wanted to see this positive code here is one way of doing that uh retweets followers i remove everything sir isme se for example ye jo second wala पोस्ट है मान लीजिए कि मैंने इसको कोड कर दिया था से फॉर एग्जांपल इसको कोड कर दिया था हेल्पफुल और यूजफुल ये मेरा कोड था उसमें तो वो कोड मेरा कहां शो होगा आई आई शो यू दैट आल्सो डोंट वरी सो प्रोबेबली व्हाइल रीडिंग दिस टेक्स्ट यू विल फाइंड अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टेक्स्ट अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ ट्वीट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल दिस टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स टोक्यो समबडी हैज पोस्टेड दिस फोर फाइव टाइम्स and you will find it multiple times so you need we need to select this one and from delete here uh, from here so this way you can scrutinize your table and your second question your uh, second part of this question you have coded this tweet to somewhere correct i'll close this tab and here is that code and coded segments and then i'll activate this retrieve segment i did not coded anything 
otherwise if you could have coded here tokyo 2020 was helpful if you can recall earlier i was doing this for youtube uh, text not for this tweet stack was valuable so once my file tweet is active and these sentiments are active you can see this there are two coded segment one document and one document group tokyo 2020 team india this was coded as a different way this is one window where you can see that other window when you scroll this one you can see useful tool valuable information you can see this codes here am i understanding your question correctly yes sir yes yes <coughs> uh some words are written in small and capital letter that's why the software has taken them separately how can we combine them both lemmatization is one way of combining them both otherwise this is what is recommended copy this all material to a word file press control a and make everything in smaller one because for qualitative analysis there is no difference there is nothing which should be coded or which should be understood as a like there is no difference in positive uh, in a capital and a small caps right so combining is not needed cleaning this is what is called as data cleaning in qualitative analysis you need to select everything if it is editable here and if it is not editable here convert it into an excel sheet go to, uh, copy there in an excel sheet or maybe in word file paste everything press control a and select small caps or maybe small uh, alphabets and that's it this is what is called data cleaning in qualitative analysis correct i uh, where was i i was about this twitter analyze tweets oh i did not save that <laughs> i'm sorry this one and then auto code uh, tweets with the sentiments so these are the tweets which we have coded there and click on okay so now everything will be saved for your purposes now this 500 tweets you will be able to see here also positive negative slightly different see this here also otherwise if you do not click on auto code tweets with sentiment they will not be visible here if you click on this they will be visible here if you click on statistics the last tab is about sentiments but this should be selected when you have already done the sentiment analysis analytics profile picture we have already removed uh, we have already gone through this you can also this this left panel is a good option for that purpose for this perspective say for example you wanted to download some specific uh, category or sentiments data one second is most frequently used data say for example 2020 tokyo olympics olympics you wanted to see tweets only those who are having these words 2020 you find is available everywhere and so that you will be able to see only that content which is having these particular uh, authority by number of tweet authors by number of tweets you can see zack hazarat and romanchak uh, nikhare romanchak uh, romanchak nikhare nikhare badar parvez these are the four five top authors they will be called as lead user identification lead user uh, process authors by number of followers most of the analysis whatever is available in the statistics you can also select and deselect these ways you can also use different ways of analyzing your text and other uh, other particular front so this is one way of doing this now you might be thinking why i am not uh, why i am not selecting this twitter and auto code tweets with hashtag correct now you can see at the top left corner uh, sorry not uh, at this uh, this one corner you can see this positive useful tool other type of codes which are available correct now i wanted to code based on a specific hashtags and all of us knows twitter does have multiple data and a majority of the data is not useful that is why i do not recommend using this auto code otherwise if you are doing this just click select your file select hashtags which you wanted to code say for example all other things if you code everything will be useless data 
select Tokyo, Olympics, opening ceremony, Tokyo Olympics, Team India is also a good selection. National anthem is a good selection. And press this right click here, select. Only these things, again, this will be called as deductive coding, not inductive coding, because we know what are the texts which need to analyze. Click on OK. Select authors. Authors, I do not want to code on that. Auto code tweets with the name of author, auto code tweets with hashtag, which is six. Click on auto code. And you will be able to see this here. Tweet based on hashtag. So Tokyo 2020 Olympics opening ceremony. Tokyo 2020 has got 169. Olympics has got 120. Now you can see tweets, single code model, coded segment. These many type of analysis, these many type of things could have been performed with looking at this particular data. These many things, these many hashtags were important, a kind of concept map, a kind of network map, not exactly a network map. So these tweets were having positive, neutral, slightly negative, these type of themes. Again, with that Tokyo 2020 Olympics opening ceremony, this is one way of looking at your graphs, one way of looking at your max maps, which is possible. You can use these terms, you can use these arrows just to explain something. Say, for example, you find this is an important way of looking at it. Insert a geo link, geographical link could be added here, which is not useful, but yes, they could be the part of layer. If you wanted to demonstrate, if you wanted to use that, they could be the part of layer. You find Tokyo Olympics and Team India is very relevant. You can draw these, you can use these drawing tools here itself. That will not be a problem for your purposes. This will be solving all your objectives, whatever you are trying to perform here. Correct? Is it easy to go? Or is it difficult to go? What? <laughs> Sir, this zero one zero four. Matlab tweet hai. Number of tweets, number of quotes, sometime or number of texts, which is related to that. When you see this tweet one, this is zero to one. Other another tweet is not quotes. These are the type of tweet which is which which content is available here. When you say zero to two, there are two tweets on this. When you uh, hover your mouse on zero to three, there are three ways of looking at it. So is this chart reportable? Yes, why not? That is why this has been made. But if this so, is not reportable... I find, I, find, I find it complex in terms of analysis. Yes, you find it complex and that is why this is this has been uh, discussed on day four. <laughs> if it could have been the easiest one, probably this could have been discussed on day one. Correct? G. Sir, sir, this type of graphs are also there in, in the codes part when we were talking about in the last class. So Correct. is it something like that that can we create such type of diagrams using codes and sub codes also? Like the involvement is of codes. Involvement is of sub codes. The ultimate objective is to demonstrate your codes. Right? right? Yes. So this is one way the complete method of tweets, analytics, and everything, I believe this, uh, this is making sense for all of you. Probably you will be able to do it in a better sense, in a better manner. Once you will start exercising these contents, you will start exercising these material. Otherwise, after about 15 days or maybe 30 days, we'll forget everything. Correct? So if you have any question which is about uh, tweets of this way, we can uh, discuss these questions here and then we can move for uh, this uh, video contents or other results. So how much difference is this tweet and retweet? Uh, does it matter? Like how important is it? Okay, That's a very impressive question. You find people are involved into a discussion. 
say for example what i say i generally give example of kannar now the moment kannar now post or makes a post on twitter you find there is a lots of discussion a good amount of people good amount of political parties are opposing that and good amount of people from different political parties are in favor of kannar now so in this case retweets and mentions are very important but say for example we are analyzing about olympics 2020 tokyo 2020 in this case tweets are making enough senses retweets you won't find much they are not contributing much to the theoretical so you can say that retweets are like kind of lending power to the argument yes correct thank you sir uh Miss Elena is asking a question about. I suppose that uh, sentiment analytics labels are set for English words by Max Cudi company. What is in the case of words of uh, rare language? How to do a set uh, sentiment analytics label, which is positive and negative? There is a specific dictionary. The name of this dictionary is Lemma. L E double M A. Lemma is having words from all other ways, from all other languages. majority of these words have been included into that dictionary however most of the software for qualitative analysis use a lexical dictionary max qda uses lexical dictionary along, along with the lemma dictionary so max qda is efficient for other languages also probably for the languages this is more efficient uh, french german and with, uh, I, i'm forgetting the name of one language these four five languages max qda is more efficient However, for rare languages, I find it is very difficult even to compare to import that data itself. Correct. No question. No further question on that. Correct. So we'll, should we move for this um, uh, video analytics? the meaning of the word may be very uh, may vary based on the domain yes 100% this uh, may vary based on the environment you are talking about i generally gave a very popular example when electrolux has entered into the indian market they have started promoting electrolux sucks like anything their most popular their most popular product was washing machine so they have started with this punch line electrolux sucks like anything an asian market has put it put it in very positive manner this advertisement has got much success when electrolux has entered into the european market or into the american market they adopted the same punch line electrolux sucks like anything and i believe all of you know in american context suck is a abuse <coughs> sorry people use it suck for different objective for different purposes and electrolux was a big failure for that perspective yes every word does have a different meaning every meaning does have a different context and without understanding the context qualitative analysis is completely incomplete <laughs> correct sir the lexicon approach can be problematic i believe all other all automated approach are problematic anything which is automated is a problematic because automated is been made for like if you are going to analyze if you are going to do something which is uh, same thing need to be repeated multiple times then automation is good way but if there is no same things automation cannot be successful say for example if you can see in production automation is a good way automation can perform if you are making if you are involved into the production of car into the production of ec automation could help you but if you are involved into the production of services haircut do you believe automation will help you beauty parlors health care centers hotels what do you think automations will help you so when it is about context when it is about services automation i am sure will not be able to help you much i completely understand most of the young scholars most of you are uh, looking for some automated format and so that software could do anything 
and software will write a research paper or even you are looking for some automated tools so that software can submit a paper on your behalf. But if it is possible, please do understand, you will not be needed for, at least for research, right? You'll not be needed for teaching. This has been done by IIMs somewhere in 2005 to 2010. Right? This is the basic reason why IIMs have been went down for about five years. This was a time when IIMs were even not doing well. So instead of some good IIMs, all other IIMs were having their seats vacant. They have recorded some of the sessions, so the best faculty for all subjects, and they find now, now, now there is no need of teacher, there is no need of a student. A student has to go to a theater, amphitheater kind of a situation, and this lecture has been repeated multiple times. A student can observe that session and later on can submit an MCQ, can submit a quiz, or can clear a doubt for about interaction of about for a complete subject has received was about um, two hours or maybe four, five hours interaction with the faculty member. But this was the major reason they are not doing well for about five years in terms of placement opportunities for their students. Why they are not able to do this? Because automation, a video recording can help a student, whereas a teacher can look at into the eyes of a student so that no automation is needed. Yes, this is what is needed, Ms. Palak. Can we, I'm sorry, multiple times I'm taking directly your names or maybe uh, many of you might be already doctors or professors. So please excuse me for this uh, because I can see your uh, name on this chat box and I respond to you by, uh, by your first name. So yes, Palak ji, we can, uh, Ms. Palak, we can do this. And I always believe with that, correct? So I believe this story will help you in understanding automation is not the solution. And at least for research, there is no solution which is called, which is called as automation. Correct? Say so yes or no to the chat book. This will help me in understanding you are still uh, awake. Correct. So I'm still having problems with this tweet and retweet. Uh, about what is that? Please, we please. have to separately analyze them and give them different ways. No, it is not needed. Okay. You need to understand what is uh, like, uh, like which content is more important for me. What do you think? Narendra Modi ji is in case of Narendra, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Ji. What do you think? Tweets are important or re retweets are important? If it is a policy matter, then tweets are important. Tweets are important. And if it is a normative matter, say, for example, we are going to allow uh, this, um, what is that CA Act? I'm forgetting the name of that Act. If you wanted to take the reactions of uh, public, what is more important, tweet or retweet? Retweet. Retweet is important. So your question is important. Your What is your objective of the analysis is important to understand. Tweets need to be analyzed or retweets need to be analyzed? Yes. Thank you, sir. But if we are importing data from two uh, channels, maybe one YouTube or another Twitter, and maybe some material from websites, is it possible to combine all data at one place and then do the sentimental analysis? Combining all data sources at one place, no. <laughs> Not possible. Not possible. However, I, I understand uh, many of you might be facing different problems for sentiment analytics. There are some free tools which are available. Let me help you. Uh, this one, I believe. No, not this one. I have uh, connected with these links. Yes, SEO Scout is analyze your site's content, improve your keywords performance. This could help you in doing this type of analysis, type of uh, sentiment analytics and that. Uh, what is that? Lexos. Yes, this is very good website, even not this one. I'm sorry. So your screen is here now. It's hello. My screen is not. No, sir. The screen is 
now uh, it's uh, c c s e o scout dot com. Yes. yes. This is what is open on my screen. Okay. What is that? Not this one. Okay. I have added to my plugin. Uh, Text analyzer, no. Allow me a moment. I will share that website later. I found one website which is analyzing uh, sentiments of the text, sentiments of the essay, and that too in free. So you can perform that. Can uh, you super? No. That's fine, sir. Sir, it just I'll one. Share, I'll share this link later. No worries. So just one more question. Um, Suppose we are analyzing two texts, one from the Twitter and another from the website. So how do we present the data in the paper? Because it, I'm sure this is going to give us the different results and different kind of analysis. So is it advisable to go for different uh, sources at one point or uh, how should we go about that, it? In that case, you need to combine all the sources, which is very, very difficult. So mm -hmm. again, in case comparison is needed. So this is what is the post. This is what is a post from Narendra Modi ji, or maybe Prime Minister, or maybe Health Minister. And this was the reaction on Twitter. This was the reaction on YouTube. This was the reaction on other blogs. Comparison can be made. Comparison can be done. Say, for example, I will select these data, some of these data, or maybe YouTube contents, and will tell you how this uh, free tool of uh, sentiment analytics will help us. I'm selecting a data from YouTube here and go to sentiment analyzer, simply meant pasting it and analyze text. The text is 100% positive because most of the time they are talking about the smile of hero is so, so funny. What is acting Pankas Tripathi? No new movie. Please post houseful food. Right, these types of posts have been given. Otherwise, this is a free sentiment analyzer. <laughs> like, yes, I, I get this. Daniel Soper. Right. And this could be again, this is uh, reportable, and there is nothing like you need to post something which is important from Max Studio, or you need to post something which is extracted from NVO. You need to post, you need to report something from this and that. No. Most of these softwares are working on the lexical dictionary pattern. And if you are utilizing some automated pattern. This is equally good or equally bad, which whatever type of software you are using, right? You can click clear text and then paste next chunk on this. So probably analyzing or probably here you can do that. Copying uh, Twitter uh, together and then copying it, uh, copying YouTube together and then you can analyze that uh, in one go, right? So that, that could be another method of Thank you, sir. I will share this link. I'll share this link. Uh, this link is posted to the to your chat box of today's class. However, like any one of you, please be uh, so kind of everyone, those who are not attending this class, post this link to the chat box and write a small two lines message. <laughs> because what, why, why this link is being posted there. Correct. So we are running very far less with the time, but still whatever promise has been done, we'll do that. So I'll be analyzing this smaller video for your purpose. I'm simply importing this video. There is no PST file. There is no MP4 file, which is of uh, transcription of this. So I'll click on no. The moment you this file best is spiritual India has already exists in the folder for Excel files. Overwrite? No. 
correct. The moment you import a video content to your MaxQDA software, another window, even if you close this window, once you double click on this, the same window will open. Activation will not be much useful. You need to click here, open video file in MP4, and then you will be able to see this. And what, what is here in the background? Otherwise, if there is any other tab is open, you, you are not able to click, you are not able to identify the codes even in anything. But this is, this is here for the objectives of, so that you can edit this file and you can type transcribing, which is related to this particular video. However, I'll simply delete everything. So now let us understand this, these important buttons. <laughs> Correct. You can, you need, we need to, uh, this annotations, yes, this way. You need to see these buttons very carefully. I believe all other buttons you are, you, you knows about them. But these three, four buttons are very important for that. This one is for <coughs> sorry. Yeah. We'll just share it again. If this uh, software is misbehaving. Correct. Again disappeared. Annotations are not possible with this present phrase. So display, preview, thumbnail. If you wanted to create a thumbnail for this video, you can click here and select a few minutes, but which is again is not needed. But this button is very important to select a clip. And again, the next to this, to deselect a clip, this part will belongs to a specific code, correct? If you wanted to play a specific clip, this will be activated once you are started with the clip and you have ended with the clip. Activation or playing that is a smaller part of that clip or maybe stopping that smaller part of this clip. And this play next, this one is important. You wanted to click some photographs during when you are playing these videos. And this one is more important to the previous one. Insert video images as a document in the document system. So once you click on this, this image will be inserted to, you, to the analysis of the MaxQD. And the next one is export coded video clips, which is not needed because this one clip is itself is sufficient. So I'll be starting from the beginnings. Right? I selected this clip and deselected this clip. Now you can see play clip, or cancel the clip selection. If I click on play clip, only the selected part will be played. If I click on this, now everything, all your selection has been, is not part of this analysis. Right, this part is about talking about Indian ethos. So this clip is selected, right click here, code as a new code, and that new code is Indian ethos. And you can see Indian ethos there. Right now they are talking about eternal love with this place, code with the new system is a code. 
this is one way of handling quantity. Uh, this is one way of handling this uh, video contents on this. This is easier. If you wanted to make transcription, right? These images, photographs, and everything is possible. The very important thing in, with this video analytics is plays the, the most crucial, the most important role plays with this video analytics is memos because memos are the material where we are noting it down. Otherwise, if I deselect this everywhere, you can find this web format is selected and this web format is a code. Correct? Once I deselect everything, right click here or right click here. Right click here and click on transcribe. Right? These are the different settings. Auto code is speaker name. So I stands for interviewer. I can write my name. R is sponsor responses. Number of persons who are involved here. And this will be will be allowed to take those notes according to those persons. However, this is a demonstration video. You'll have to click on play and replay multiple times. You might miss something and then you need to play with that. And this is called as transcription of this document. And when you've done this transcription, probably Atiti Deva Baba is a part of Indian ethos. More than a physical territory is a part of this. The same coding and recoding need to be done. Or maybe eternal love. Same coding and recoding will take place and you'll have to perform that. Correct? And whatever transcription you were able to do for this uh, analysis, this is available here. Correct? Are you able to get it? Get it? How to use a video content? You can type yes or no to the chat box. So this particular video didn't have the audio wasn't clear. It's not like that with every video. Right. Audio was not clear because if I click on audio mode of this, if I started sharing audio mode, probably the screen will be, the screen will be a bit blur. Okay. So that is why intentionally I did not uh, made it video friendly. If I could have made it video friendly, probably you could not see those buttons of transcription and other ways. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So this is how an audio or maybe video, anything need to be transcribed and then particular analysis of that particular audio and video could have been done. Correct? Is there any doubt of today's whatever contents we have discussed? We are uh, willing to take those questions. Okay, I think images have been left. We can uh, include images into the next class whenever we get time. So questions, please. Can we include Zoom recording data? Yes, you can include Zoom recording data. And the best thing in Zoom recording data, you can also include chat because this is already available in terms of text. You can include that as a transcription. This is what is a question. At some time, say, for example, uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Mendes has asked a question somewhere at 8, 7. And after uh, this particular time, Rahul has started responding to this query. Yes, this could also be done. Need to think on a way how to add or how to include this data to this analysis. Any type of analysis, any type of data could be included to the software. Sir, can you help with one example for one network diagram, if possible, with some taking some? Not today. Basic will some other day we'll discuss this uh, network diagram in some other day. Not Any other question, please? Sir, we need references for the specific lead people. Yes, Vishnu Priyaji, I'll forward this paper. I'm having that paper, lead user identification, I'll forward it.
already people have started their dinner time because participants are very less. <laughs> They're asking for a few good papers which are using sentiment analytics. I, I believe just go to the Google Scholar and you'll get more than whatever I could supply. More than 1250 papers are available. Say, for example, you belong to marketing domain. Or maybe instead of marketing, I should say advertising domain. Okay, spelling of advertising is incorrect. And 139 papers are available on that, that too. I could supply the papers of my interest only, but if you at least try to explore Google Scholar, you'll get multiple. So probably you can copy and paste this code. To, I, I'm just copying and pasting this code to the chat box and you'll get multiples. Done. Anything else you would like to explore participants? You can please ask the uh, core officer about it, even from the previous lecture. Yes, even from the Sir, previous lecture. general lectures. query. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Sir, uh, you may find it weird, but every time I find little problems. It does not make a difference. It does not make a difference. Please. Okay. Go. Sir, when we do searches, like in Scopus, or in Web of Science, or even Google Scholar, some people use the use of inverted commas, that this is important. Use of and, use of space. Sir, as you have searched, I was noticing that you have first keyword in inverted commas, then you have written and capital, then you have written the other word in inverted commas. So, अगर मैं यही सर्च स्कोपस में करती हूँ बिना कॉमास के तो मेरे रिजल्ट डिफरेंट आते हैं और कॉमास के साथ करती हूँ तो रिजल्ट डिफरेंट आते हैं सर तो मुझे कभी भी ये चीज की क्लारिटी किसी ने नहीं दी कि हमको जो कीवर्ड सर्च है वो एंड कॉमास और मतलब बाकी चीजें लगाकर कैसे करनी चाहिए क्योंकि सर जब हम SLR करते हैं, I am attempting to do SLR, उसमें कीवर्ड सिलेक्शन और रिजल्ट्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट जो हैं आप जानते हैं कि होते हैं Correct. Should I? G sir, G sir. Miss Elena, uh, this uh, participant is asking about why I have used these specific quotes and capital ends and everything. What will happen if I do not add these quotes and in general advertising and advertising? Correct? Can you see the number of uh, papers you are able to get? Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. Correct. What is making change? If you look at the URL on top, what this URL is saying, this URL is saying this URL has searched the papers which are related to sentiment plus analysis plus Twitter and advertising. Correct. Now you can see there is a specific word and is also part of the search. So whosoever or whatso number of papers have used end in their title, they might also be resulted here. Probably those are not related to this concern, related to this whole topic, sentiment, analytics, Twitter, and advertising, correct? So this is why we are getting one like 8,000 papers in this result. If you are using these codes, what will change to the URL? If you are using end as a small in a small one, this is not a logic gate. Probably one who belongs to the programming or computer language, they'll be able to understand. If I'm using end and caps, this will be considered as a logic gate. I'm simply putting an inverted quote surrounding to the important keywords. Now you can see, now there is a still plus, but end is not the part of search first. In sentiment, analytics, Twitter, wherever these three things have been found together, only those papers were, are the part of this result. Correct. Along with advertising. So now the papers which are has been sentiment, analysis, Twitter, 
and advertising, they are the part of this result. And that is why we were able to reduce from 1,8,239, which is a very, very huge difference. Reading 1,8,000 paper and reading 139 paper, I think 139 papers, anyone can read it. 1,8,000 probably 4-5 PhDs or maybe more than that, or maybe 10, uh, more than 20 PhDs can do that. You need at least 20 PhD. You should be awarded 20 PhDs if you are reading one like 8,000 papers. <laughs> right, this is on the lighter note, but I, I believe probably you will be able to understand. While while posting on a uh, while posting an inverted code surrounding to your keyword, you are limiting your research. If you are not posting these inverted codes to your uh, research, you will be uh, bummed up with a lot of results, which many of them might not be useful for you. So I believe I'm able to solve your query. Ji sir, ji sir. Any other questions? Correct. Probably they are also tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were taking all subsequent questions during the session, so I don't think. Because uh, say, for example, somebody might have asked this question in the beginning and I did not respond it. Are they able to follow me or this way? Probably the whole se uh, session will be wasted for them. Correct. But it was a very, very interesting session because these days, uh, everybody has social media uh, yes. suits buffered. So it is basically an interesting analysis. I also learned a lot. From <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope... Uh, We'll be meeting and discussing the next uh, session for uh, probably one thing is left, I think images, right? That's what you said. Images is good, yes. So that we will take it up in the next sessions. Any, any, any in the next session. Yeah, any in the next session. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, participants, for joining us. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. And I hope everybody is aware that we have a next session on 25th, right? So that is again from 6 to 8 p.m. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good night. Good night, ma'am.